Coachella day three. Yeah. Today, waking up sucks way more than yesterday did. I still have my extensions and my makeup on. We got home at like 3 a.m. I did a bad thing. I didn't wash my face last night. That is like a sin to me. We had like an after party to go to yesterday by Liquid IV again, and it was from 10 to 4 a.m., but we didn't go. I think if we went, we would not have lived. Willow is playing today? Yes, you do. <laughs> Jay or Jai Wolf? I don't know how to say it, but I know one or a couple of his songs. Willow is playing Frank Ocean, and I don't know the other people. I don't know when we're gonna go today, because everyone I know who's playing is playing like after 7 p.m. But I kind of just want to go because it is the last day. If you've never been to Coachella and you want to go, Make an extra savings just for food. Because we got chicken strips the other day. The chicken strips were like $19 each. Three chicken strips and fries. They had ice cream. One scoop for $12. We've gotten chicken strips every single day though, so we're probably gonna get them again. We have to go to get breakfast right now because it's 9.45 and it closes at 10 and we're gonna regret it if we don't go get breakfast. I wanted to get bikini pictures with the hair extensions in, so I did that. Rest in peace to the long hair because we're taking it out because I'm like pretty sure we're doing a sleek look today, like a sleek bun or something. My head is screaming in pain though, let me tell you. The day after we got here, like I woke up and I had this huge cut on my freaking stomach and at some point my cat clawed me. I have no idea when that happened and the only thing I could think is that it happened in the car, but I don't really know why I didn't feel it because it's kind of a big scratch. That is literally the most relieving feeling. But now my hair feels super short. Today's outfit, I really, really like as well. I'm very excited for today's outfit. Trying to drink this green juice because I feel like I should. I need to wash my face so bad. My hair is a little bit more inflamed because I slept with makeup on and because there's just like so much dirt in the air at all times at Coachella and it's just like going into my pores and then on top of everything I slept in it and makeup and sunscreen. But I'm gonna hop in the shower. I'm not gonna wash my hair. sit for a little bit. We're gonna do our hair first. My hair is so dry and that's not good for a bun, but it's like extra dry because I put in texture spray yesterday. Any like aerosol or texture spray dries my hair out so bad. We're gonna put some hair oil in and by a little, I mean a lot because my hair is literally not greasy at all yet because we're in a dry climate and I'm on third day hair and she feels like first day hair. But whenever I'm in a drier climate, my hair can last like a week, a week and a half because scalp care has been coming through. I just put three whole pumps of that just in my mids and ends and it does not even look greasy at all. <laughs> lopsided and it's driving me insane. Also, this part is like pumped up for some reason. I have about 50 bobby pins in my head. Now that I look like a little egg head, uh, uh. it's time for makeup. 
there was so much more people yesterday than there was on day number one and i'm wondering like how many people are gonna be there today and like a lot of people online that i saw like didn't even show up on day one and they just came to day two i have no idea what today is gonna look like so my outfit for today is mainly white with a little bit of like green and orange so i might be doing something like that on my eyes no i have another pimple <laughs> go away i'm so scared to see what my face is gonna do a few days after this because my breakouts usually happen after something like intense happens to my skin i need coffee i'm already tired and it's 2 30 because we're going a little bit later today hopefully there's not a lot of traffic yesterday we stayed in traffic for like three hours on the way and our hotel is 30 minutes away from coachella we were at one left turn lane we were there for like two hours. There was no one conducting traffic or like anything. There's one left turn lane, then there's two other lanes. And these people are all like cutting everybody off, trying to get in the lane because they have to turn. They're literally going faster because they're cutting people off in the front. So then we just weren't moving and people were trying to get in front of us and like we low-key had beef with like a bunch of people. And like some guy at the last minute was trying to get in front of us and Tyler like wouldn't let him in and Tyler like rolled down the window and was like, we, we've literally been here for two hours. And he was like, same. And I'm like, no, you haven't. Because that lane has been going faster than all the other lanes. It was like the most aggravating thing ever. I know people had to get over, but you don't have to cut in front of everybody. So then this lane doesn't move. But yeah, so I'm nervous to see what it's like today. It's literally the same base you've seen for like the last two days. But I'm going in with like a luminous highlight. Okay, we're gonna do my eyebrows. When we were at the Calvin Harris concert yesterday, before it started when we were standing in the audience, we had a little beef. I've heard that Calvin Harris is like, it's like a thing that he's late and that he like plays super late, like at two to like 4 a.m. And this was at 11.45, so this was like early for him. So he was like 30 minutes late and everyone was kind of just standing there. But I mean, you don't need to complain the whole time, you know? And we were probably like 20 minutes into waiting and there's this freaking lady behind me. So me and Tyler are standing there. We kind of made buddies with like the people next to us, a guy and a girl, like the same age. They were like super chill. They were really nice. And we were just like talking to them and stuff. And then this lady behind me, like every freaking five minutes, come on, Calvin, just plug it in and play. It's not that hard. She kept saying it over and over again. This lady was like 40s, 50s. She was a Karen. She says it again and she's like getting more aggro about it. And she's just complaining. She has a friend with her as well, the same age and Karen type the guy was like yeah well you know it's a little bit more than that just plugging it in you know you gotta twist the buttons and stuff like kind of just like making a joke and she was like no it's not that hard it's not that hard she kept saying it's not that hard and i turned around and i said okay well why don't you go do it then because i was over it this lady has been talking for like so long and just complaining like calvin's not gonna hear you he's not and he doesn't care <laughs> And she was like, my daughter's a DJ. I know how this works. And I'm like, well, good for you. Your daughter's not up there. I don't know. <laughs> and she was like, I've seen him before. He's not even that good. And I was like, why are you here? She like walks away up more like with her friend. If you don't think he's that good, why are you here? Like, that doesn't make any sense. And everyone around was agreeing. Like, why are you here then? And then she kept like giving me dirty looks and I'm like, okay. I feel like people are just so much more impatient these days, me included, but I'm not gonna sit there having dozens of people around you when you're in a crowd of like 100,000 people complaining. Like you don't need to complain. What is that gonna do? It's not gonna change anything. I should have filmed it. I literally had my camera there. When he started playing, I look over cause they're a little like in front of us to the left now. And she's filming and like jumping around and stuff. And I'm like, oh, I thought you didn't like him. Thought you said he wasn't that good. I don't think I've ever really dealt with like a Karen before. I want you guys to comment Karen stories down below because even though they aggravate me, they're really funny. So if you've had an experience with a Karen, type it down below because I want to read them. <laughs> I am so happy that I dyed my eyebrows before coming here because filling in my eyebrows is so much easier. My eyebrows are looking real good today. Now we're gonna try and go see like a bunch of people today, even if I don't know who they are. We're just gonna try and get the most out of today in the time we have left because today's the last day and I'm sad. And that's weird for me because usually whenever I do this type of stuff, I'm like kind of excited for it to be done because I'm usually just like over it and anxious, but I'm kind of sad. <laughs> it's speedy time with the makeup now because I'm taking too long. Going in with concealer on discoloration and now sadly pimples.
world. This is one of the pieces that I'm wearing and then the rest is literally white. So I think we're gonna do some eye stuff with these similar colors. Powdering a little bit, but I still wanna be like really, really dewy. I like this. I'm really scared to add the green because I feel like I might not like it. But I was thinking about doing like something here. Because if I put the green on, I'm not gonna be able to get it off. I also like don't have Q-tips. I think I'm gonna add like a little gold into this look. Blush. put on my outfit. I still have to curl my eyelashes, but I can't find my eyelash curler. Bro, I can't freaking find my eyelash curler, and I need my eyelash curler. And Tyler's looking in the car, but I swear I freaking saw it like this morning. I'm putting a little bit of like a red in there, just to give my lips a little bit of color. The red is Beautiful 90s vibes, or these. They're both great. I've worn these the last two days, so I feel like I should wear these. And with these, I can put these on top of my head, and they don't have like these little pieces because these will get stuck in my hair. Okay, I'm gonna go put on my shoes and show you guys the full outfit. This is the look. I found my eyelash curler. It was in like the bedding. Ooh, this is making my eyes pop. White bikini top, little thing. I forget what it's called. Parachute pants with like some chunkier Nikes. I'm gonna put my rings on and a necklace and then we're leaving. We have been in traffic for like over an hour, just in like the Coachella area trying to get into a parking lot because their parking is completely full. So we're going straight and then we don't realize that the parking lot is right there, but no one's gonna let us over because people are just like, Pissed. And Tyler rolls down the window and asks these guys next to us, hey, can I give you 10 bucks to cut in front of you? And they're like, yeah. We probably saved about two hours. We look, did. look. We <laughs> I love people here. Right when we got there, Kali Uchis was playing, and right when we walked up, Tyler the Creator came out. So this is just like everyone running towards the stage to see Tyler the Creator. didn't vlog that much on this day because I was like nervous that I was gonna make people uncomfortable but bro left and right I was seeing youtubers and people that I have watched for literally so long it was so weird so at one point when we were in VIP I was walking up to the chicken strips place and who like walks right in front of me and like I low-key bump into was Scotty Sire and I just like out loud say I'm like oh my god it's Scotty Sire like hey and he was like hey and like right behind me one of my friends from TikTok Nicole was there and then when we're walking away, the whole entire vlog squad is just there and I'm just like, my 15 year old self would literally be bawling crying. And then I'm just seeing like a million TikTokers and a million YouTubers and I'm just like, bro. Also, there was so many people this day, like in VIP, it was like, squished. I thought day two was crowded. No. Everyone came to see Frank Ocean and I'll come back and tell you guys how that went. But then we headed over to go and watch Willow's performance and we got pretty close. <laughs> An amazing person 
You're an amazing artist. It brings tears to my eyes as your brother to see you do this. Oh, can you guys hear that? So I'm sure by now you guys have all heard about the Frank Ocean concert, and if you haven't, I'm gonna explain it a little bit here, but I'm also doing another video on decompressing and doing self-care after Coachella and telling you guys everything that happened at Coachella that I didn't explain in my vlogs. We sat here for a little over an hour, he was an hour late, and I was under the impression that he was making people wait on purpose to get rid of like the fake fans because it was so freaking crowded, and I thought there was like something to it. Now hearing about all the stuff that's happened and all the news stations and everything coming out. I'm pretty sure that wasn't the reason, but he starts out by playing Novocaine. like super quick it was just weird like it kind of seemed like a music video like I was like wait is this being filmed right now like it was super weird and I couldn't really tell what was happening on the screen and it was just really confusing if you're like a diehard Frank Ocean fan you might not like what I'm gonna say but just remember everyone can have their own opinions okay there was people walking in a circle for like 10 minutes before he started actually playing I'm like okay maybe this is like something artistic maybe it's cool maybe I just don't understand Maybe 10 minutes in, there are just people flooding out. Like, people are just leaving. People are over it. And this was happening during the whole time. But me and Tyler stuck through because I low-key thought something big was gonna happen. I thought he was gonna bring someone out. So, he's playing songs every once in a while. He talks for a little bit. And then, in the middle of a song, he, like, goes off stage. And then a DJ, he was just remixing his songs and stuff. But this was happening for, like, a fat minute. <laughs> Just like random shots of stuff backstage it was just really confusing and then there was this like security guard shaking ass <laughs> I'm like, okay, go off. Over 100,000 people did not come to listen to someone remixing Frank Ocean songs. I'm just saying. That happened for a while and he just, he sang a few more times. <laughs> And then he just went off stage. During the whole beginning, I heard a million people around us saying like they think he's having technical difficulties. I was under the impression that it was so confusing and weird because I thought he was trying to get rid of fake fans. Childish Cambino has done that in the past, so I kind of got the same vibe that that was what's happening, but I don't think so. I think it was just really not planned. So yeah, it was just the most underwhelming thing ever, especially because it was so hyped up. But I mean, maybe that's everyone's fault for hyping it up. I don't know. A while into this, I finally tell Tyler, I think I'm ready to go because there's a lot of people around and it's low-key getting a little scary. Right when we stand up to leave, Frank Ocean says, hey, I'm being told to get off because of curfew. Then everyone is a little confused, but there is instantly a rush of people leaving. Like I said earlier, the original 
original parking lot was closed and in that parking lot we had a special way to go because we were vip we had a walkway where there wasn't a lot of people but this time we had to go out the way that everybody was going out and i had never gone this way before and this is the last day people are not lingering people are leaving like running sprinting we get to this certain part and it's just people completely squished and we're about to walk into it there's a little place on the side quite a bit of people are sitting and waiting and tyler's about to walk into it and i'm holding his hand and i pull him and i'm like in shock having a panic attack i'm like we can't go in there i'm like i have a really bad feeling i wish i filmed this but when i'm in a mindset where i'm scared I don't film, I'm sorry. No one was moving at this point and I'm like, someone's gonna get hurt. And literally right when I say that, there's screams and I can't find a video of it so I don't know if it's on video. Either someone fainted or someone got in a fight because there was like, ooh, ooh. Me and Tyler wait for 10 minutes for it to clear out a little bit and then we finally go but then there's another group of people. So we like stay back. It took us like an hour just to get out of the park and then it took like an hour for us to drive away. It was low-key scary a lot of people have been drinking, doing drugs, everyone's tired, and on top of everything, people are really disappointed from this concert that a lot of people paid a lot of money just to see Frank Ocean. I just wanted to get out of there. I did not want to be there. The vibes were not good. Kind of a bust, but I personally didn't go to see Frank Ocean. I went to see Calvin Harris, and I was satisfied, but I feel bad for everybody who got Weekend 2 tickets to see Frank Ocean because right now, Frank Ocean is not performing at Weekend 2, so that really, really sucks for those people. So yeah, now we are back at the hotel. It is 3 a.m. Our cats are going freaking crazy. So if you hear weird noises, that's what's happening. <laughs> oh, yesterday when we got McDonald's, the milkshake machine was broken. And you know what that means? They just don't want to clean it, so that sucks. We pull up, and he's like, sorry, their system was down, and then you could only do DoorDash or Postmates, so we were like, uh, but then now, now we went to Del Taco, and it's really yum. <laughs> Whenever cats smell something bad, they like put their mouth open, and he was just licking his butthole. <laughs> and he just took a poop. <laughs> That is the end of this video. I just wanna say I am very, very thankful for each and every single one of you guys from the bottom of my heart because I would not have been able to go to Coachella if it wasn't for you guys. Thank you guys so much for just watching. Like, that's crazy that you guys watching my videos could make me be able to like do things like go to Coachella and then I get to film it for you guys, so it's great. That is the end of this little series. I'm gonna be filming another video, like I said earlier, of like decompressing from Coachella, so if you wanna see that, for now, yeah. But I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Wait a minute.